Hi guys, and thanks for tuning in to my video today. And I'm going to do a quick video of my laundry room. Um, I am a part of this group called A Bowl Full of Lemons on Facebook. And I have been um, a, reading her blog for a couple years now. And um, I have been really trying to get my house organized and in order because we've been here almost five years. And it has not been exactly where I want it to be. So I said this was the perfect time and it was one of my um, goals as far as the new year to get my house um, in order. And so um, this paint color here that you see is actually called Dancing Green. And I was a little nervous about the color because I thought that um, it was too bright. But as I started adding everything in here, it turned out great. Um, it was actually, um, I knew I wanted to paint this room green day one, um, and I had the decor, everything in here, and I will try to post some of the pictures of what it looked like before. Um, I don't think I'm going to post the ones with the clothes and stuff on the floor, <laughs> um, but that's the part of the bowl for the lemons group because it's lots of tons of ladies who are honest and open and they show their messes and they show their imperfections and we do post things like that but um i am going to post what it looked like in here before so you see where some of the pictures i've moved them around so if you want some inspiration some motivation join a bowl full of lemons um Facebook group and also join or um, sign up for her email for her blog. Um, I think Clean Mama is another one. I'm a bowl full of lemons dot net, I believe. And they are awesome. And this is week two. I did not do my kitchen challenge yet. That was week one. Um, it was just overwhelming just thinking about it because I have not. It's just a long story short, but um, when I get that organized, then I'll make a video of that. So um, I'm going to do that this week because week three is actually the pantry. And if you see my video on the pantry, you'll know um, I will just have to tweak some stuff and maybe just um, throw out some old things and straighten some things. And then I'll be done in a couple of days. So you have seven days to complete the challenge. And you're supposed to clean everything from the dryer vent to the drum of washing the clothes, washing, cleaning your washing machine on the cleanest cycle, not cleanest cycle, um, with vinegar to get it clean. You make up a, a cleaning caddy, which you see down there. And also you're supposed to wash and fold all of your clothes and put away. But I have a confession. This was a lot of work. Because it was painting by myself. I did have to get some help. And my clothes are not washed and folded. And I clean out the vent and I can't put it back on. I have to wait till my husband does it. So, anyway, let's show what I have here. So, here I am, have been trying to work on a command center. And so, one of her weeks, I think it's the very last week, she has a launch pad. I did not know what a launch pad was. And that's just a drop zone. There's some chalk down there on the floor. That's just a drop zone. And so I mainly wanted a command center because we can all check in, chime in, figure out what's on everybody's schedule. When it's football season, it's really hectic around here. The gym schedule. So maybe um, I will put a calendar. I found one on Zoo Lily I want to put on the wall. And... Um, so we can see each other's schedule. We can also um, put the menu plan up here, but I haven't figured out what I want. And until I do, I have a couple of weeks to think about it, get some ideas on Pinterest, YouTube, um, whatever. So I actually wanted cubicles here, but it was not in my budget. And this actually works out better because my family um, had tons of shoes around the corner. We had some on the door. We had some on the shoe organizer, and it did not work. They had tons on the floor. I was sitting here tripping over them. And so now they know um, to put their shoes down there. Now, when Saya gets older, I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but we'll figure it out. Everyone here has a bin. These bins, they came from the Dollar Tree. They've been a little worn because, again, I was trying to implement this system. So we were just putting our stuff in the bins on the floor. 
Um, my, hu my husband and everyone loves to use the corner of the kitchen as a drop zone. And so maybe this command center will help. I'll probably put something here for keys or a hook or something. Um, right now, I have not found the perfect cleaning list that I like. I think I found this one off Pinterest. I'm not sure of someone's blog. MoneySavingMom.com. She's also awesome off of um, Facebook for coupons or whatever. And this one's from Clean Mama. And it was... Um, I actually need to touch up that frame. But um, they're also awesome. So when I find the perfect list, I can implement them together. So this is a work in progress here. It's not perfect. But the bookcase, I just had it upstairs. And I retouched some of the things. This bookcase... I actually, um, my mom had it. She was just trying to get rid of it. And honestly, it wasn't in my budget. Again, I wanted to purchase one of those door pantry armor things. Um, I figure this looks a whole lot better than the before. The before, it was just like a shelving. Those plastic Rubbermaid or heavy duty plastic and it's kind of open so you can see everything and this looks more confined more uniform and it looks better So that was no money spent there, but I did purchase these wash letters. They're really heavy. They're made out of Is it MDH? I'm not sure but anyway, they came from Michaels. They were four dollars each. I was excited about that um, the Cherish Live and Dream, and I forgot my pictures here, um, and Live, Laugh, Love. I cannot remember for the life of me where I purchased that from. Um, I want to say Walmart or Big Lots years ago, so I do apologize about that. And also, these flowers here and the planters they're in, they're on a hook on here on the back, and I love, love, love them forever and ever they were I put them in the same exact place they were before and um, I got these from home interiors over seven years ago so you may can find something similar somewhere but I had these for years so I'm sorry about that guys I used to sell home interiors and gifts and they went out of business um it's now called celebrating home I believe these hooks, they came from the Dollar Tree so I just put those on the back of the door I had it for months and I finally put them up there and this system here, I actually implemented this years ago. And my boys, they do it sometimes, but a lot of times they don't. And it does help me. It makes washing easier. Um, they can be lazy, and they can put stuff wherever. But if you can tell, my baskets have seen better days. But they still hold laundry. They still fit here, and they still go with my color scheme. So for right now, they're going to stay. And um, what I did here is I just made, just printed, typed the words up, printed it off, put some ribbon, um, gift wrap ribbon, and then I punched holes, laminated it, and that's it. Um, the baskets I got from Walmart years ago when it was like a campus, back to school campus sale. And most of the time that's when they have those bright, vibrant colors for back to school students so that's why i had that from i think my iron board cover i got from there um my little caddy i got from there um these bins here came from big lots a couple of years ago um this actually came from the dollar tree and this is to hold josiah's clothes i actually here want to put a bin here for him but if you see that it is a tight squeeze here, um, and it seems like the handles have to be broken for it in order for it to fit, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And I don't know where I'm going to put this tub. And sorry about my nails, guys. I'm always working with my hands, so my nails look bad. Um, this tub came actually from Big Lots one or two years ago. And down here I have some... Um, dusting rags and cloths and swifter attachments and some vacuum attachments and some toilet, pa toilet paper roll holders that will not stay on the thing and I have to figure that out and I guess I organized so well I have an empty um, I have an empty container there now 
And this detergent is just the stuff that I have on hand. Um, not on hand, but what I'm currently have open and using right now. And my stock pile is down at the bottom. Here um, is a stain removal guide. I thought this would need to put here. Um, I'm going to probably move this. I'm going, I want to print it out in color, but I only have ink, black ink right now. But um, I'm sure my boys will knock this down and probably break it. So what I'm going to do is probably put it on a little clipboard instead and laminate it and put it on um, the wall instead with a hook. And here I had this picture and I apologize. I purchased that from Home Materials as well. Apologize for the um, glare. And um, this was actually on this wall here before but you can't really see it there so i had to get my husband to get up there because i'm short and i tried to do it on my own i tried to do everything on my own but i needed help and i also needed help at the very top of um near the wall to paint that because i could not reach that and the bands here um some of them are blank because i have not figured out what to put in them but this one here has my steamer from HSN, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Joe Mangano, but I like her steamers. Um, I'm not really an iron girl. My iron is also in there. Um, mainly because when I was growing up, I had to um, do a lot of ironing, and I'm not a fan of that anymore. So, I'm a rather steam. Um, in my before pictures, I also have the light bulbs and the sewing. Um, Bins. I have those up there, but I don't have them labeled. I actually have four of those. And um, so those came from the Dollar Tree. And I'm sorry, these baskets were actually up under end tables that I purchased from Big Lots years ago. And they were so sturdy, I just held on to them. The tables are long gone. I don't have a clue where the tables are, but I kept the baskets. And you just pulled them out up under the end tables. This I purchased from Marshalls, I think over a year ago. I use it throughout the house, and I actually probably need to touch that up. And um, the greenery. And then here in the middle here, um, these washers don't take up a lot of room. So I said I needed a little table here uh, for something. And if you've seen my other videos in my dining room, I have this little stand here and it was actually cherry wood and I had some gray paint that I was going to use at the gym to redo some other projects there and I never used it and this was so perfect and I love when stuff comes together and it's so perfect I could just I just get so happy and I just and I don't have to spend any more money and I already spent it but um I said oh the gray matches with the um appliances matches with the washer and dryer and I spray painted that it used to be um cherry wood mahogany so it was actually my dining room holding like the desserts so if you can go back to that video you can actually see that and um I did that today so that was the last thing I needed to do and I had this bin and I just put some dryer sheets in it um I don't like the fact leaving them out because I feel like the fragrance leaves um the dryer sheets but i had those dryer sheets actually for years um with couponing and stockpiling so i said if i have them here then i'll use them and then i purchased these um this was so neat they were a dollar fifty and the labels actually already were on them so they were from michael's and i got the last two and i'm afraid my boy's gonna break them but um, I'm probably not going to leave two here. I was thinking putting safety pins in the other. But I'm um, not sure if, if we, I need to do that or not. And also a part of the challenge is doing a cleaning caddy. So I had this clad caddy forever just up under my boy's bathroom sink. And so I said, well, this would be perfect to put for my cleaning caddy. And so... Um, what I have here is some brushes I got from Aldi's here, and I haven't used those yet. And these bottles came from the Dollar Tree. The labels came from these particular labels with the smaller labels came from Michael's. 
and it was like seven in a pack and it comes with a little piece of chalk so you know the little section in michael's that they have the dollar stuff um you know, the register, that's where it was, but that's nothing compared to the ones they had at the Dollar Tree, I would think around the summertime, where you get 16 for a dollar, but anyway, um, they're still cute, and then these are, this is Shout, back here in the back, and these are just some cheap, I had these forever, and I thought they were perfect the time with the colors, um, I think we were using them for the car or something one time. And they came from the Dollar Tree. And then that microfiber rag back there from the Dollar Tree. Some Windex. And some um, Lysol wipes. So that's my little cleaning caddy. And that was part of the challenge. And I'm just so proud of that little table. Because um, that table I had forever as well from Home Interiors. And um, it's seen better days. So... And I need a little bit more paint right down here in the corner, if you can see. Um, just a tad bit more paint. And I hate when you're almost finished, but I guess I always would need just a little bit more paint just for touch-ups. And these pictures I got from Kirkland's. I love Kirkland's. My favorite store. Wash, dry, and press. Live, love, and laundry. And um, I love Kirkland's. They took the place of Home Interiors in my heart when they um, when Home Interiors went out of business during the recession. I think the company is now called Celebrating Home, but the stuff is even more expensive. But Home Interiors stuff is very high quality if you're familiar with the company. Because if you see some of the things that I mentioned, I've had for years. And probably when I do the tours in other places of my house, I had this stuff for years. And it, it's, it's awesome quality stuff. And I do miss it dearly, and so now Kirkland takes my heart. But here, um, our shoes, and I need to take those hooks down, were here on this door. It was a mess, and they had their shoes everywhere, and I just was so frustrated when I came in here. But now when I switched the light off and on, I'm so happy. And then here, I did have a colorful rug. Um, it was neat. Um, it was blue i'm sorry it was orange hot pink and purple so it tied in the, with the room with the bright colors um my son spilled tide on it i think it was just like a few days after i had josiah and i was hurting i didn't feel like cleaning it and actually it was the color of the ironing board here and I threw it away, and I wish I didn't. But it was a pretty good size rug, so I couldn't just throw it in a washing machine. Especially with those new washers. You can't just wash everything in those washers. But anyway, my closet is not perfect. Uh, we can finally use my closet as a closet. My husband made a joke. And here's his pants. He's always trying to do something. Kidding around, trying to irritate me. Um... And he had to put his work clothes in here. And that's fine. Um, I did want to put the coats in there first. That's fine. Um, he, because um, he loves to put his, one of his drop zones, he loves to put his work clothes. He takes them off when he gets home and he puts them on the stool. I'm on the other side of my breakfast bar. So it would be best if he hangs them up in here. So I'm going to see if he really does that. And um, what I had in this closet before was... A chair rack like this and it had like I had tons and tons of cleaning supplies when the couponing was really good and I was I, was, I have been couponing since 2008 before the extreme couponing and so since that show came out it's not as good as it used to be and I used to get lots off for like 50 cents or whatever so I had tons and tons of stuff in here when we first moved in and now it has dwindled <clears throat> excuse me and so um and there's my shelf back there so one day it, it may go up um i actually wanted that shelf to be here up under and i thought it was a good idea to paint these um the color of the wall so they won't stand out i don't remember what these things for but they are hideous but i wanted a shelf here but my husband did not have time to put it up and um and also i forgot to mention that i saw this on pinterest i think and these are tiles and i had these for 
a year or two now. But having babies and stuff, it just takes a while. And I was going to put them in my pantry as well, which I might do this week with the next challenge. And what this does is that, so when you put something up here, it will not fall through the cracks. So this is just like those towels that come in the boxes. And uh, I think it was like seven, five dollars for 30 towels. And so I just put that up there and I thought that was neat. So I think I'm gonna do that in my pantry too. And I may do that up here, but I'm probably gonna do a video um, of my laundry, I'm sorry, closet here one day. Um, it's not how I want it yet, but my budget was tight. And here I want to just put my brooms on a little organizing rack that you put on the wall. My brooms, my dust pans, and not dust pan, brooms, dust mops, and stuff like that. And then something to hold my ironing board. But we don't iron a lot. We just put it back in the jar or take it out, fold it up, or steam it. I like steaming better. So guys, I hope you all got some ideas from my um, laundry room. Um, it was a little frustrating this week because I did have to wait on my husband to do some things because I'm short. But um, I try to do everything myself. I stayed up late some nights, but I got it done and I'm so happy now. I am so happy now. And now I'm on to the next challenge, which is the pantry and my kitchen. So guys, um, you can also go over to my blog, which is my life full of hope dot weebly dot com. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to thumbs up, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe as well. And see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.